From highly anticipated and attended parades to bus stops where witnessing armed teens and a relentless barrage of bullets flying. In some cases, they're arrested like these three teens flaunting modified fully automatic guns at the Chinatown Seafair Parade. They're only 13 and 14 years old. They've pleaded not guilty to gun possession and are now back home out on electronic monitoring. People look at that and say, oh, that's just the liberal prosecutors in King County. It's not. It's the state law. It doesn't matter if you're a prosecutor anywhere from Seattle to Walla Walla. Casey McNursney with the King County Prosecutor Attorney's Office is talking about Title 13 RCW, which is the exclusive authority for juvenile dispositions. It breaks down the offenses and the punishment the teen must serve based on their criminal history. Let's focus on gun possessions. What I've heard is it takes five convictions before they're actually held in detention. That's astounding to me. That That is absolutely frightening to me. And, and I think that's something we need to pay close attention to. Chief Zurar isn't too far off. According to state law, if you're a teen caught with a gun illegally in your possession, police will follow your case with prosecutors. And if they get a conviction... The most that teen can get is 30 days in the local youth facility. State law says local sanctions can include up to 30 days of confinement in detention, up to 12 months of community supervision, up to 150 hours of community restitution, and or up to a $500 fine. Imagine that same kid gets caught a second time. The situation repeats itself. Another gun, another conviction, and the most prosecutors can get under state law is a max of 30 days. Same deal for a third and fourth conviction. It's only after five unlawful gun possession convictions that 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 teen can go to juvenile rehabilitation at the state level. That's the way things have been for teens possessing guns. The ranges have been unchanged since the Juvenile Justice Act was enacted in 1977. That's something that the prosecutors in, in King County want changed in state law. The statistics speak for themselves. As of June 24th, 15 teens have been shot and killed in King County, according to the medical examiner. Prosecutors say so far this year, they've charged more homicide cases of teen victims than in previous years for an entire year. Prosecutors are not the only ones concerned. If the laws aren't working, if people are seeing that kids are getting out over and over again and that the punishments don't fit the crimes or there's not enough rehabilitation programs, then we need to act immediately. This is all happening as King County is trying to decide whether to even keep operating its juvenile detention center. King County Executive Dow Constantine wants a no cells, no locks approach while Council Member Reagan Dunn did object filing a motion to keep it open in April. Now the future of the facility is headed to a full council vote, which could come as soon as August 20th. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Back to you.